Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about how to upgrade your VMware Fusion to version 11. I currently have VMware Fusion 10 Pro, and so I'm going to be upgrading to the VMware Fusion 11 Pro. Now the reason I'm going with Pro is so I can do my natting. You know, you create virtual networks, where the regular version you can't do that. Um, so today we're going to be talking about all the things that you need to upgrade to Fusion Pro 11. And the reason you want to upgrade to the newer version is to have the latest support for Windows 10 as well as the OS Mojave, uh, Mac OS Mojave. Um, and so I have a Mac at home, which is why I'm using Fusion. So today I want to talk about how to upgrade Fusion. So with that, let's get started. So I've already downloaded the, um, let me close that out. I've already downloaded the uh, Fusion software. So I'm going to go to my downloads. Go to my downloads. I'm going to go ahead and double click on it. Now, I've already, if you've had any snapshots or um, any of those, I would recommend um, removing those snapshots and bring everything up to the current state. Um, and uh, also back up all your VMs just in case anything should go wrong. Uh, you just never know. So I've already done all of that. So now I'm going to um, go ahead and run the installer to upgrade my VMware Fusion. Now, when you um, log into the VMware site, when you go to download, it'll just say VMware Fusion. Um, you don't need to worry about that. So it's going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and log in. Just start the installer. Whoops. Let's see how many times we got to do that. All right, there we go. All right, so now it's going to start installing the VMware Fusion 11. This will take a few minutes, and then once you um, install VMware Fusion 11, you're going to need to open up. Now I need to get my key. And there's my key. go continue and move this over so you guys don't see my key all right uh, you can join if you want to that's fine okay uh, hold on it's Fusion 11, so we got that all done. That was a quick install, so let me go ahead and move. Uh, copy my file. I'm gonna put it here. Root. I go to downloads. Okay. All right. So now that we've done that, we are going to. Now we got to launch every single VM that you have because we're going to need to upgrade the VMware tools on each one. So I'm going to start with my domain controller. And then what happens is you'll get prompted with this upgrade. So you'll click on upgrade. So it's going to upgrade each one of your VMs to version 11. In that process, it's also going to upgrade the VMware tools um, in each one of your VMs. So you'll have to do this for every single one of your VMs. And then um, I'm going to pause this video for a moment while I finish that, and I'll be right back. All right, so this VM finished uh, upgrading, so now I'm going to go ahead and log into the virtual machine. Now, upon logging in, you'll make it, you may get prompted to automatically upgrade the VMware tools. It should do it automatically. If not, we'll have to do that part. Um, so just give it a moment.
There we go. There we go. It's launching. It's now upgrading the VMware tool to the latest version. Now, after you install the VMware tools, they will require you to restart. So um, we'll have to do that next. As you can see, it finished installing the VMware tool. So now we're going to go ahead and, and uh, go ahead and restart. So it's required. So it's going to restart this VM. Once it completes the restart process, then this VM will now be upgraded to version 11. So I'll have to go through and do that on every single one of my VMs. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back. Now here's a VM that didn't automatically prompt to uh, go ahead and install the VMware tool. So we're going to have to do this one manually. And the way you do that is you go to the um, branch sign, and go here, connect DVD, and close that out. And then when you um, there you go, upgrade VMware tools. And then you go ahead and see installer. There we go. There's your VMware tool. And there it goes. Now, it could be the reason it didn't launch automatically is I didn't have that um, CD ROM drive connected automatically, which is fine. Um, so we just have to do it manually. So we'll just give it a moment and see if it auto runs. Sometimes it doesn't always do that. So we're going to go ahead and launch it. That's fine. That's fine. I'm going to let that finish and I'll be back. So in this case, um, it's complaining about that the uh, setup can't verify that this particular patch is installed. So we're going to have to upgrade some updates on this machine before we can actually upgrade the VMware tools. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back. All right, so for this VM, it's having a little bit of an issue. Um, so uh, it's missing this update specifically. It looks for that. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and download this particular update, install it, and try the VMware tools again. And so with that, um, I'll be right back. All right, so I was able to fix the issue. Um, you're going to need, if you run into an issue where the VMware tool does not install and you get an error code, um, what you'll need to do is uh, I had to manually, on this particular VM, I had to manually um, download a specific patch. Um, as the... Um, 2919355 this patch and then I went ahead and installed this right here so I had to go to the software update catalog and download the um, update for the 2012 server once I install that then VMware tools were uh, automatically installed on this particular VM so that's all you have to do and when you install the patch and then it'll automatically install VMware tools which then installs the correct um, uh, Microsoft Visual C++ 2017 um, and once that's installed able to able to then upgrade automatically and um, when you go into the program file and you'll see down here this is the updated version the prior version is 10.2 which is the 10 so if you run into that issue on any other VMs, you'll have to probably do that manual process. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that file just in case I need it. Um, any other VMs if I have that issue. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this to... Um, uh, I'll just put it in data. I'll just put it there for now.
and then go ahead and continue the rest of the VMs and I'll be back shortly. All right, so I'm at the last VM. Uh, that one VM was the only one that had the issue. Every, all the other VMs uh, was able to automatically upgrade to the VMware tools, uh, as you see here. So this is the last one that needs to be upgraded. Once it installs the tools, it'll restart. And then all I have to do is just check all my VMs, make sure they're, um, all the services are loaded, um, SQL is still working, SCCM is still working. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, and then um, that'll just take a few minutes here. And then uh, after I'm done with that, I'm gonna shut down all of my VMs and go ahead and upgrade my Mac to the Mojave. Uh, so now that I've got the VMware out of the way, I can then upgrade my Mac. And I will uh, do a little video on that and how to upgrade your current Mac to the Mojave. Um, anyways, now that I'm uh, down to my last machine, I've officially upgraded my VMware environment to version 11. Uh, again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. There's going to be a lot more content coming your way. Again, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.